Right, g'day YouTube, we are back with another game of Warno. This is Death Row, and it is a 4v4 on Death Row. We have uh, myself, uh, Jagged, that you should all know now, Dog the Booty Hunter, another friend of mine, and Scribbles. And on the blue side we have Unk the Og, Popeye, Spaghetti, and a beer coaster. So we'll just jump it up to speed. So unfortunately, Popeye disconnects very early on. And here's the game. So we have a quick rush, lots of stingers, mech rifles. We've got mech rifles coming on the left. A uh, slow start for Unk the Og. I uh, feel like he didn't set up his orders. Uh, we did kind of rush them with the starting clock, so that might have been affected it. So Dog, the booty hunter, going in hard at the start in center. Uh, this is me. I'm setting up on our left here. And uh, Scribble's clustering the road there. Lots of choppers coming in from Og the uh, Unk the Og. Uh, beer coaster and spaghetti setting up on this little crossroads here, and uh, they'll be engaging on that road quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, I've already captured my sector. We're getting a plus three now. Uh, the boys are just setting up infantry inside uh, center. Spaghetti and Popeye well established in the center here, doubling up center. Got helicopters coming in, and my 24 Hines, Apache, Rocket Apaches, Tow Cobras. We got the works. Um, I'm not really sure what was going on with Unk Dog. He's approaching very, very slowly. Uh, seems like maybe he didn't know. Uh, the fast move order or how to preset his moves. So we got um, Frogfoot's coming in with the ATGMs. We got uh, Frogfoot clusters coming in from Scribbles here. Got my artillery moving up into position. Um, trying to take out a Toe Cobra with uh, Cluster. That's interesting. We got the MI24s just raking that tow cobra with their uh, cannon the uh, yak b more mi-24s coming in straight into those uh, stingers if they're not careful Here we go we got the eagles coming in migs coming in on mass chasing the eagle down so much ecm very expensive plane to lose there Kiowa Jimmy, really annoying. That ATGM is a pain in the butt. Scribbles moving in the Osvadika, the short range uh, artillery, which is pretty interesting. Don't see that very often. Unthaw with the MLRS cluster already opening up on the far, on the tree line here, getting getting himself a tank there. Here comes my cluster. Let's see how we go. And it gets shot down, yeah. That was unfortunate. I was going for this MLRS. Oh, oh, I did actually get some of the bombs off, so... It did get hit. And it didn't take any damage, unfortunately. So I got recon here. Boys are helping me out with some... Oh, yeah, just... A spawn of MIGs just coming out. Go heavy on the MIGs early. Establish some aerial supremacy. Just lots of MLRS. So essentially peppers us with that most of the time. Uh, but we managed to deal with it, I think, pretty effectively. Got some grads rolling up from Dog the Booty Hunter. The mortars come in. They were uh, they were a problem for us the whole time. 
I'm the Ob, not unloading his infantry here. Um, not really sure what that was all about. Um, Unk the Og with a Thunderbolt. I got the feeling that that may have been Unk the Og's first game. Um, which is a shame. I'm just going to adjust the in-game volume here. One second. Bear with me. Uh, let's go here. Apply. And we're back in the action. Okay, so MLRS pounding this tree line. Trying really hard to push through on the left here. Uh, having some success. Uh, killed a couple of tanks so far. Motorstroke under real pressure here. Uh, BRDM goes down. And the engineers just get brute forced into this position. The Hines come in. Cluster comes in. No effect. Most of the vehicles moved off the road. Scribbles coming in with another cluster here. Clusters out. Same thing, no effect there. A frog flip flying around with ATGMs ready to hit people. Yep, so they're taking out Abrams in the center. So Jagged, uh, we put Jagged in the center. Jagged's probably one of the more competent of us all, so he got put in charge of the center. And you can see why. He holds quite well. Uh, MIK comes to suppress these Abrams and hold them in position. We've got more uh, Frogfoots coming in. Uh, big push here uh, from Unk the Og. Uh, cluster comes in, very effective, takes out his CV. Uh, pretty much neutralizing that threat now. Uh, fire some artillery onto the Abrams, just to give them some suppression. Also, uh, unbeknownst to me, stop really hampered the uh, infantry that was pushing in and and perhaps even the supply vehicle was unable to come in as well. I uh, swing infantry around to push them in these buildings just in case I'm really sure what how much of that force is there. So I swing them in here just to set up a firing position in case he tries to sweep across and go for my CV. So we're getting big big push here, just little spatterings of Abrams coming back and forth see the Russian tanks are under uh, a fair amount of pressure. They're both pretty damaged. This is the point where Scribbles unfortunately disconnects as well. So now it is three, so it's a fair game. Uh, Spaghetti versus Scribbles is T-80Bs and the M1 Abrams. T-80B goes down. Yeah, they're not really a match for Abrams unless they're in mass numbers. So, yeah. That engagement doesn't go Scribbles' way, unfortunately. And uh, you can see the left is really starting to collapse here now. The MLR really light up in the center, putting some real pressure on Jagged here. Uh, but Jagged, to his credit, he holds. Uh, Motor Strelke, including the mechanized rifles, and uh, manages to destroy them before they're able to exit their transport there. Really good. Uh, got to Got the AI from Scribbles here, really coming in, reinforcing my position. I'm um, engaging the pivot forest here. Unk the Og brings in a CV here to no avail. Managed to pick it off. Uh, but yeah, so the real issue here is this left is collapsing. I bring in a triple stack of T-80Us. Um, Dog the Booty Hunter brings in a T-80U CV as well as uh, some other T-80Us too. And uh, we make an effort to engage the uh, push that's going on here. Uh, funny little tidbit about this here. Uh, I deployed these tanks uh, but didn't actually control them. So they did this, a lot of this independently. Just goes to show you um, the work that Eugene has done on the AI here. Uh, for those that didn't know, you can uh, change um, your settings in uh, the options. Uh, in order to set your units to be aggressive, and so they, I will make aggressive maneuvers like this. Okay, so it's at this point that um, Dog the Booty Hunter notifies me that my T-80Us have performed exemplary uh, over here on the right, so uh, I then gain control of them and start a concerted push uh, towards uh, me position. 
And uh, yeah, it goes pretty well. We're going in here, tearing up his chaprels, his pivads. He's bringing aprons in to engage me now. I peel my T80 use off. You can see that fair bit of damage here. Uh, I run into his infantry here, um, uh, kind of unaware that they were there. Um, but yeah, so I hold them in position here. Uh, I wait for the Gypsy truck to come in just to give them a bit of repair. Uh, if we come over to my flank here, uh, the AI Scribble's just going absolutely ham here, getting MLRS class to death uh, with all these tanks here. Had this Abram sitting here. Uh, I think the Abrams were sitting quite some time. The Scribble's pushing forward with the infantry, really putting the pressure on Unk the Og. Uh, a beer coaster coming in for support here. Unk the Og moving Abrams into a firing position up on the ridge line here. Uh, I'm really trying to pound him with my artillery. Uh, in this position. I know that he has units in here. Uh, I did see some of them at some point. Uh, really just trying to put the pressure on. A big line up here. Big cluster from me there with the SU, the, the Su-24. And uh, it pays off pretty big. Uh, as you saw there, a lot of vehicles just get destroyed. Uh, the infantry are a little battered and bruised there. Uh, Uncle Yolk manages to get a Oh, a helicopter CV. I didn't even know that, uh, but that's kind of cool. So we're really spread out. You can see that the, the push on the left here is done quite well for them over here. Um, Popeye really pushing hard with the infantry on the left. Uh, probably inevitably trying to go for a, uh, a base CV snipe here. Um, t use uh, Dog the Booty pushing in with the t use use uh, Here's my logistics truck pulling in. Uh, to resupply my TA to use. They've done that now. Oh no, they're doing that right now. Um, just good, so repairing the damage, getting them fueled up and stuff, uh, ready to go. Much more effective in managing my artillery now, except for this. Uh, the artillery runs out of uh, with the attack order to go up and engage with its uh, frontal gun uh, and its uh, role playing as a tank. Um, which is hilarious. It's running out of fuel here. I get notified uh, probably right about now, um, which is hilarious. And, and I, uh, I managed to, by some sheer miracle, pull that out before the Abrams gets a shot off of me, pulling it in reverse. Uh, yep, we've got a real engagement happening here. Uh, Hines against the Chaprel. Really risky move, but it, uh, it paid off here for Dog Booty Hunter. And as you can see, the infantry is still pouring in. Uh, we, I did get a report that there was infantry in the vicinity, so I deployed Motor Strelke BMPs in a defensive position and then deployed the BMPs out in sort of a, like a reconnaissance format uh, formation. And then you can see here the BMP engages what's left of the mech rifles and really puts, puts the herd on it. Uh, so this little infantry push is sort of doomed to failure now. A uh, big, big tank push in the center here. Uh, Jagged's just really taking up, taking back control of this position here. Really wants to control the ridge line to contest. Uh, I'm getting pushed here. Unk the dogs moving units up. Uh, it's not pushing. He's just, he's just, um, he's just uh, shoring up his defenses in this area. As you can see, I've unloaded a swathe of infantry here at the back, which was to defend that push earlier. And I've got the BMPs at a forward position, uh, ready to engage with their uh, Conqueror's missiles and uh, their auto cannons. So it's quite a little potent force when you've got enough of them in a unit. Uh, moving the Scribbles, moving the Motor Strelke BMP up. Uh, I'm just in a holding position. I bring my T80 use up to support this little push uh, from Scribbles. See that he dies immediately upon getting in here. And uh, I start using my artillery to really shell this position in shortly. Scribble's pushing up with our uh, motor trail gear. See here, Unc, Unc the Og and Beer Custom moving tanks to this right hand flank of center. Uh, really trying to put the pressure on Jagged here. He's holding off as best as he can. The tanks in the center here really lined up, ready to go. Uh, yep, so he saw the incoming mortar rounds and moved uh, all these tanks out. My Akatsia managed to, uh, there was 
going for a suicidal charge, manages to just crawl out of there with his life, which is fantastic, and uh, I managed to get him to a supply truck and then back uh, doing his primary function, which is providing artillery. He pushes up this Kyo in here. Uh, initially, I'm like, oh dear, and try and move my trailers in, but I didn't need to. The BMPs did fine work and managed to uh, kill that Kyo. You can see here, Jagged goes for a little push over the ridge line here, is immediately spotted and uh, has uh, clusters and mortars fired at him and loses quite a few tanks in the front. And there's real pressure coming on here. The Apache pushes too far forward, gets engaged by my Tunguska and uh, my Tunguska takes it out. Tunguska's fantastic little piece of machinery in this game. Uh, it's uh, infrared missiles and it's um, cannon is just absolutely fantastic. Got Unc the Og pushing up a CV here, uh, an armoured CV, so now he's got two CVs in here. Um, so really getting ready, shoring up that position. Got ATGMs coming in from the ridge line here at uh, my T-80Us that are just withdrawing back into the tree line. Uh, you can see I've taken a bit of ordnance into the tree line, but nothing too spectacular. Got my artillery opening up. Uh, not really sure what they are, they're engaging. Somewhere over here, this position here. Just really putting pressure on uh, the most Trelke had seen infantry in this position. And, you know, really just wanted to put the pressure on. Uh, this is my MiG-31s trying to really apply pressure to the Eagle here as it comes out. And you can see I got another... Uh, we get more Eagles come... Uh, MiG-31s come out to the Eagles and we managed to actually splash them. It's fantastic. Uh, so... The F-15 Eagle is really, really quite something in this. It has a lot of ECM and it's really hard to hit. Uh, so it's really something when you bring it down. The only way to really bring it down is with the, the MiG-31s on mass and just uh, try and rush it down with as many as, as you can. Uh, Space that screw in the center here. This was really interesting because uh, he was holding the center position and we were getting engaged from ATPM in the center. And, not really knowing where they were coming from, so Pissy doesn't actually have that much of a field of view inside that rubble. Pretty interesting. So yeah, a lot of, lot of recon moving up. Uh, beer coast you see here making a push. But T engaging with T-80Us. He's losing quite a few tanks. Uh, T-80Us engaging from the side. Jagged, more T-80... T-80Bs engaging from uh, the left flank. Just really putting the pressure on, managed to stop that little tank push that's got going on here. Uh, AI scribbles moving in some space that's screw to engage the remnants of that fire team. More motor strokey getting pushed forward to their death. Um, but the good thing about the motor strokey pushing forward in that sort of fashion uh, really gives me an idea of what uh, what is in that area and uh, allows me to really apply the pressure as much as possible. MiG-31's coming out again. Uh, really putting the pressure on uh, any air support coming in for the uh, American side. Uh, spaghetti pushed forward with a rush of ITVs. Uh, Abrams still in a holding pattern here. Uh, this is where I make a push here. I make a push for this central position here. A lot of BMPs are really just trying to engage. Uh, I didn't actually monitor this offensive. I just gave them an offensive order and they just pushed in. Uh, they managed to get the Abrams, so it wasn't entirely in vain, but it was a significant loss of life and loss of points. Uh, Jagged supporting him with TADUs, lots of ATGMs coming in. He was lucky that he didn't lose anything there. You see the jets all flying around. Uh, Frogfoot's coming in, providing ATGM support. Um, just these stingers are just not really supplying the air cover they really need. Um, so, stingers are good against helicopters, but uh, not so much against jets. Good cluster strike there, whoever made that one, I'm not really sure I didn't see it. Uh, we've got Dog the Booty Hunter making a little cheeky like flank here around uh, Spaghetti's units. I think he gets spotted here as he engages. Yeah, cluster strike comes in there and just polishes him off. Unfortunate, good little move there. Uh, probably should have had his units turned off, uh, the guns turned off on his units so that he could just sneak in and, and 
to take up that position. Gribbles rushing an OSA forward. Um, just gets immediately demolished. But again, every time he does this, he has to feeding units into the, the meat grinder there. But he's, he's giving me a visual and an idea of what exactly is in this position. Uh, dog Booty Hunter coming in with a cluster strike there. Uh, gets it off there. We managed to see this Abram CV, so that's where that cluster strike was going. Yeah, pushing a Tunguska up. Unfortunate. Love the Tunguska. It's a shame to see it die in such a fashion. Engaging uh, this artillery position with MLRX. You know? Uh, he did not move those very quickly. He was very lucky there. Uh, the Grads being a HG rocket unit. Uh, HG rocket unit doesn't really do the required damage in order to uh, pacify uh, the MLRS. We've got some T64 BVs, these are mine, coming up here. They take a couple of ATGMs, I withdraw them. A couple more ATGMs. Um, they, they're, they're surviving. Um, I'm pretty sure I withdraw them and they survive this engagement. Just wanted to put a little pressure on. I see the little, they're pushing out with some infantry here and I, uh, just really want to put some pressure on. Ah, they do not survive the engagement. They do die. Okay, I see an Abrams push here. Scribbles with the Osa. I come out with my T-80Us and got the BMPs engaging T-80Us. Destroy the uh, Abrams move cresting across the ridge line. Um, this is my artillery now just engaging these four positions. Got a close strike in. Uh, it was a pretty good one quite get the job done they've moved off a little bit um, we're just really applying the pressure on here scribbles just AI scribbles just throwing units into the meat grinder here which is unfortunate but you know it's doing its job uh, Popeye here just not able to really affect anything with that push that he was trying there earlier um, so the base is really secure at this point in time Left is coming a little bit under pressure from uh, some uh, engineers coming in. Uh, but we managed to dispatch that in pretty good order. I've still got this T-80 sitting here and it remains there for most of the game, so... Um, so that's alright. Uh, i got scouts pushing forward, really just a back and forth here now. Um, Jagged still holding this position. They're not really making any aggressive maneuvers here. Yeah, three eagles come in. Yeah, I respond with my mix ams. They managed to get away. I think they got one hit off on an eagle there. They bring in some phantoms and another eagle. I withdraw it. Uh, withdraw my mix. I'm pretty sure this is my eagle. So no, this is dog. So uh, eagle actually goes down there. So that is a really good trade. Fantastic. That's a lot of points to lose. Uh, for really not much gain at all. Abrams under a little bit of pressure here. He smokes up. Bit of smoke coming in here. Um, followed by some artillery. So this is good. We're putting him under pressure here. And he uh, withdraws an Abrams. And yeah, withdraws his other Abrams here. Uh, you can see here we're building up now. We're getting ready for a push up on this flank. Where his MLRS were, he manages to move them. Uh, which is unfortunate. Got tanks coming up on mass here, T80 BVs. Gonna use them for my push on the flank. Just really trying to create a break in their line somewhere to really uh, gain momentum. Grads putting pressure on. Uh, really quiet with their mortars here. They're not really uh, putting any pressure on here. Again, this is spaghetti though, so this is the AI. Uh, so this is the difference between having uh, your options set to aggressive and not. Um, as you can see, they're not really doing a whole lot, which is unfortunate. Um, that's a lot of artillery that could, could have been applying a lot of pressure here. Um, I mean, the AI is pushing the infantry in though, so... So you really got to work on those options um, in the start menu to really just 
get your AI to work as effectively as possible. Okay, so you can see here there were push here, scribbles is pushing in some units, I bring up some strellers. Uh, in case any chopper pushes come in. So again, every time the AI brings in a whole bunch of stuff, I get to see what's going on. Uh, that was my cluster strike. Good cluster strike manages to get the CV. He's got another CV in reserve though, which we we're unaware of. Um, and just as I'm about to make a push, you see here we're making a push now. Uh, tanks roll up en masse. Uh, Unc the Og just bringing a whole bunch of tanks in. My t 80 is really engaging those quite effectively. Uh, and we just drop a whole bunch of ordnance on it coincidentally at the same time. Very, very lucky uh, that that comes in. The AI scribbles coming in. The big cluster strike there managed to clear up uh, most of those Abrams pushes. And uh, my tanks just push on through to the other side, uh, just like the song. Um, so the T80 BVs, a couple of them routed and got suppressed. So I just they just break off. And uh, it's kind of good that I left them there. They were able to engage the enemy and keep them busy. Uh, so we continue to push on through and try and uh, get to this CV. We end up seeing the CV, however there's a whole bunch of choppers that are ready and waiting to uh, move into position to engage us uh, as we roll down the road. Uh, so a bit of an effective push there. And here come the choppers. It's unfortunate, but you know, these things happen. Uh, we are engaging them with our um, whole mount of guns on the tank uh, obviously it's not enough to really kill these choppers but you know puts enough pressure on here uh, Unc the Og surrenders at this point not really sure why um, you know my T80 BVs really get monstered up here by the the Bradleys and the and the command uh, Abrams here so it wasn't like uh, the situation was entirely lost but they managed to fight off uh, the problem is it's really reduced the units that they've got within this uh, sector here that they've captured. Um, and we're just really kind of pushing in here. Uh, I've managed to get a Motor Strelke CV in here to, really, to capture the point, so the point belongs to us now. Uh, pushing forward with some T, yep, T80Us now. Uh, I did bring in a supply truck to repair them, so now they're at full fighting strength. And uh, they're really engaging this Abrams here. That, like I said, would be here most of the game. Cluster munitions come in. I'm pretty sure that's to kill the Abrams. Gets the Abrams. And uh, I'm not really sure if that was the cluster munitions that got that CV there or the T-80s. It might have been the T-80Us. But we're really pushing in here now, solidifying this position. Swing across. Uh, I noticed that we have eyes on the mortars and I decided to take them out. Uh, any chance to really remove that artillery threat. Uh, good play by me. Then he brings in the chopper, uh, laying waste to the... He kills one T-80U and the uh, T-80BVs just start really lit up. Uh, and I really scramble to try and withdraw this T-80U here. A very valuable tank. I bring up my Strellas here. Strellas engage the Apaches and he breaks off. So that was good, very lucky there, managed to withdraw all my stuff. Uh, the motor struck menace engages these units here and we see it at the time. Uh, cluster strike comes in and just really puts the puts some hurt on the units there. Uh, scribbles with the T80BV, remember AI, so can't expect a whole lot. Um, but he's pushing in now, really putting the pressure on. And at this point, this flank is totally collapsed. Uh, these friendly units don't, his friends don't really uh, see the threat in time. Um, but we're just pushing in now to really shore up the position. T80 is in position there now. Uh, the Abrams moves too far forward. T80 takes the shot, kills the Abrams. Uh, it was damaged from the cluster. I've got more T80 pushing in here now. I really want to shore up this flank. Uh, again, he comes in with his Apaches and his Kiowa, uh, and I try and withdraw my T-80Us. I'm pushing up my Strellas now here to try and really gain some support. I've got an Osa. I'll push it up to the ridgeline here. 
I just really, I really want to get rid of these choppers, try and get them in with the T-80, see if they'll engage. And uh, yeah, uh, the combination of the, the Osas there really put the work on, um, on that, uh, on those helicopters. Uh, I used to not be a fan of the Osa, but I, fi I figured out that if you put them on elite veterans, they're actually quite deadly. Uh, I thought there was a whole bunch of vehicles in here, so that's why I dropped a cluster strike. Turns out, not the case. Um, so we're just shoring up this position, so we're aware that there's a whole bunch of units in here um, that are holding our advance. Uh, Bradley moves up. AI Scribbles is pushing up BVs now. T-80 use here, he's low on ammunition. Um, but at this point we see uh, we see there's something here, I see these vehicles here. We know that the infantry is here, so we're putting artillery on them. Keep them nice and suppressed. Uh, get some good damage on them. They're firing off ATGMs, but they're really suppressed right now. And uh, yeah. So the center is starting to collapse a little bit for uh, the U.S. forces here now. Grads coming in, firing at engineers. Uh, spaghetti surrenders here, and he disconnects from the game. And that's really the nail in the coffin. Uh, and now it's just Beer Coaster holding on. Comes in with the Wild Weasel here. Migs come out to engage the Wild Weasel and manage to take it down. Those were partly my Migs and a Dog the Booty Hunter's Migs. Another Wild Weasel comes in. Uh, Eagle comes in and manages to clear something out. Not really sure, didn't see what that was. Uh, SU-24 clusters coming in now that the Eagles have bugged out. Clusters in the center there, really supporting uh, Jagged's attempt to secure this sector. Um, and here we go, I've got T-80 BVs coming in for a tank rush. Just really want to drive the uh, drive the knife in and finish this game off. Uh, he comes in with a helicopter rush, tries to get an aero rifle rush. Uh, to try and see if he can get into our command area. Gets engaged by a bunch of Strellas. Uh, the infantry that got dropped out or managed to kill the Strellas because uh, they don't take any losses even when they crash uh, or get shot down. So uh, they're able to quickly overpower those Strellas. See here he's starting to try and shore up this position, bring in some infantry, some scouts. I uh, had these stingers here. Uh, he's got this Abrams in the open here. This is the AI now, I think, because he's surrendered. Uh, so he brings in the Mart. The Mart gets a stroke of the BMP2. And uh, yeah, AI Scribbles is doing some wild stuff. He's got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, I don't know what this was about. Uh, and then this happens. This was most confusing. Uh, we didn't actually see this happen. But we end up finding it, and it is. Just amazing, that is a lot of CVs. Um, but they all push into this echo sector and hold in there, which is really weird. So we did end up seeing one CV in there, so that's why we're pummeling it with ordnance. Uh, as you can see, my crowds are really working it over here in this sector. Got a whole bunch of kills recorded, so we knew stuff was in here. Uh, so we're really just trying to apply as much pressure as possible. And uh, this is where the T-80 BVs come in and start pushing in. T-80Us here coming in, pushing in, we're engaging the scouts in the open here. Uh, I saw his mortars withdraw, uh, but we knew we did them later. M-I-N-K is now pushing forward. Uh, it's really just the final offensive now. We're really just trying to try. Uh, we did this uh, Abram CV. Uh, I wait in this position and uh, really just try and build up my numbers in order to affect that push. Uh, the guard's really engaging these CVs now. And managers, they survive. It's uh, quite weird. The guard's just really not even able to kill these little dips, which is hilarious. Um, but here we go, we make a push, T80 BVs in a cluster of five. Uh, trying to engage the Abrams CV. Stuff Abrams CV is holding. Let's get to use with the support of a BM, BMP2 coming in, and uh, we really just push in and take the town. And 
can uh, clear out these CVs. At this point, a lot of the bullets are destroyed. So he's got no cover. We just shoot him down. Um, CB died. Uh, there was an Abram sitting there as well. He died, and the sector is uh, lost. So from here, it's literally just a mad push um, into their base, just to really uh, secure the game. Uh, we find out later there's lots of CVs in here, and uh, we just start picking it apart. But by that time, the the other player surrenders. So we're pushing in now. The mortar tries to escape here. I'm pretty sure we put some shots on him. Yep, he dies. So we're just driving down the main road. We're cruising. I break off because I'm not really sure. I think there might be something defensive in this town here. Ah, that's my Su-24 uh, from earlier in the game. So yeah, so we're really pushing in. AI scribbles doing wild shit. Scouts come across, we see them, just absolutely murder them. Um, at this point, we could run into a little bit of an issue, and that is that the tanks are starting to run out of fuel. Uh, but we persevere either way. And we push in. Uh, so this is Jagged's TADBVs. Uh, I decide to advance across the field, run into this Kiowa. Luckily for me, the Kiowa fires tow missiles and it's rather ineffective. Um, you managed to get one there, uh, but that's it, he's out of ATGMs, so remaining uh, T-80Us are able to advance unimpeded. And then we just push in. T-80BV here runs out of fuel, I'm pretty sure. We're just pushing in, we kill a CV there, cluster this position because we thought there was a CV there, there wasn't any. Just pushing in here. Uh, we get our own CV in here, which neutralizes their spawn point. Um, which just really is the nail in the coffin here. Uh, they can't bring anything back. They can't affect uh, a change here because we've got such a commanding presence in their base. And that's essentially it. The running's on the wall now. Um, they just hold on for the sake of it. So we're just bringing in choppers. And that's it. That's game. And uh, really good game. Uh, they played really well. Um, but, uh, you know, we won the day in the end. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and follow me at Twitch and Twitter uh, links in the description. Alright guys, thanks a lot, see you next time.